How's it going, Scruffy? And this is Unkept Minecraft, and we're back on the Camicraft server. Standing in my base at the moment. I've been doing a little bit of cosmetic work off camera. I'll show you that now. If I don't get trapped in my anvil. If I don't get trapped in my anvil. There we go. She could have just gone around it, didn't want to. Right, well, as you can see, I've put the walls in on the, on the sphere here. I've cleared out the space up there, and I've started putting red in up there. And I think it looks pretty good and each floor is going to have a different colour and it's going to go up like that. Over here, I've cleared out an area, this is all going to be storage because up above us, you can see the little pixel art I've done there, oh, you can see it better from the top so let's head up to the top. But this is what we're going to be focusing on today, uh, we're going to be finally sorting ourselves out a smelter and some farms, some food farms. I don't know if you can hear that, but my cats are freaking out in the background. So, yeah. It's going to be one of those days. There's, there's a little flame. I've done pixel art. Use glowstone instead of yellow clay here, just to add some light to the room. But the plan is, on this side, we're going to have a smelter. Probably use a minecart smelter. As you can see, I've got some of the stuff for that in my inventory. And on this side, we'll probably have a couple of uh, animal farms that do the auto cooking. And they will sort down into uh, chests below. So that's the plan. Uh, I think we'll start with the smelter because I've, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs smelting and I've been putting this off for too long. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Basically, we'll have three uh, minecarts with chests on these rails. And what will happen is, if I remember to, I haven't put an end block on this, okay. So let's put a block there. Drop down, get that block there, time to jump around the corner, made it, okay, awesome, right, okay, so we've got this block here, and then what we'll do is we'll put two torches on here, that'll power these two rails, and then what will happen is we'll have an input here, where's my hoppers, there we go, and then we'll run chests off of that. And then we've got this input here, which we're going to run hoppers all the way around from. I think that's right. No, we want one less than that. Okay. And so then what we want to do is if we get back up on the machine here, we just get our chests. And we've got one here and here and we come around the side and we drop one there and there right, and there are two input chests this one will be for the items that are being smelted and this one will be for the fuels and what will happen is once there's a certain amount of items in each in this minecart here it will set off this comparator which in turn will fire this piston and will then generate a very short pulse into this torch switching it off which will switch on this torch here, powering this redstone up into this powered rail, and the redstone that runs around the bottom there, you can see into that block, which will power this powered rail. What that'll do is set the minecarts off, and they will, as they pass over each hopper, evenly distribute the items that are in them. It's actually fairly simple. It's actually a fairly simple thing, but uh, a lot of credit has to go to uh, Mumbo Jumbo for the design. Uh, Mumbo uh, has perfected the design, it's been around for a while but Mumbo really sort of nailed the redstone, keeping it nice and compact. Um, my tutorial that I just gave you isn't really going to cut the mustard so I will put a link to his tutorial down at the bottom for you. But yeah, that should work. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our minecart chests, put one there, um, we'll put one there. And then we're going to pop one down here at the bottom, which will be constantly running. Like that. And what that'll do is once the stuff's smelted, these, these hoppers underneath the furnaces will pick up the items, drop them into this hopper, and that will drop them into the storage system that we're going to build downstairs. So I'm going to go gather some more blocks and we're going to pretty this thing up a bit. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're just taking a slight detour here in the banner room because I want to look at this because this place is friggin' awesome. Look at this. We've got a music disc farm. We've got. I, I love these banners. Look at this. Look at this Mesa banner. That's awesome. Like we've got Blaze Farm banner. 
I, I love these banners. I think they look fantastic. And kudos to whoever is making them. I suspect it's either Swabby or Duds or someone along those lines. They just look fantastic. Cheese farm. Oh, it's a gold farm. Okay. There's my banner there. That's the one I made that hangs outside my tunnel. We've got a Charge Creeper farm banner. Look at this Witch's farm banner. That's, that's just amazing. I love this room and kudos to anyone who's contributed to it in any way. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our decoration in on the super smelter now. Um, we've got this glass wall here because I think it'll look good with the uh, the minecarts going back and forth. I think that'll look nice. Um, I've gone with the same scheme as out there, but I'm loath to put in redstone blocks because I don't want it to mess up any of the redstone in here, obviously. So, um, trying to think of another option. I thought about maybe granite polished granite for the 3d effect but um, I'm not sure that's really gonna work because it one for one thing it been taking all these redstone blocks out but for another I th personally think it's too bright I feel like the uh, the middle color needs to be a stronger color I mean it's different down there with the green because we've got the greeny blue and it matches with the sea lanterns but I think up here it would need to be a more striking color and I think the granite's just a little bit too soft for it. So if anyone's got any suggestions, do drop them in the comments. And uh, I'll have a think about that. For now though, I think we can call that smelter just about done. What I do want to do is I'm going to go get a redstone lamp or two. And see if I can fit them in here, get them powered by the farm itself. So I'll be back in just a second with those put in. Okay, so we've got those in. And they look pretty good, I think. I'm just not sure about putting redstone on this side, really not, because what I don't want it to do is power the rail so that this is moving constantly, so it's going to make the farming efficient. I'll have to have a bit of a play around with it, I think, once I get everything over here done. But we've got some space left over here, and I think 6x4 might be enough to put a farm in. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to do that, I'm just trying to think which one to do. I think I could get a cow farm in there. Uh, the real challenge, of course, would be getting the cows in once I'm done, but I'd probably do that from the top and have them drop in. Um, I'm going to go away and do a little bit of research. I'll get away from that minecart because it's making a lot of noise. But I'm going to go away and do a little bit of research, see if I can fit a cow farm in there, and if I can, I'll build it. If not, I'll see about maybe a chicken farm or something like that. And it, again, if I can't fit anything in there, I'll just close it up, light it up, close it up, and then we'll start building some farms over on this side. So, I'll be back in just a second and we'll get cracking. Okay, time to build a chicken farm. Turns out the chicken farm is going to be the best option to do here. So, we're going to leave this gap here for now. This is going to be for the hopper that will go into the sorting system. Normally, that would be a chest. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our hoppers. I'm going to try and build this on camera. Uh, a bit nerve-wracking. I don't normally build on camera for a very good reason. Uh, I'll have to mess it up. So, let's try this. Right, we've got two hoppers there. Uh, they will go into a hopper here, which will need to face downwards if I put it like that. That should work. Okay, right. Um, and then, so, the, yep, yep, and the, yep. Well, I completely forgot what I was going to say there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I know we need to have a repeater right here. I know we have to have a repeater there. So if we now get some building blocks, we're going to use orange clay again. And we just build these up to sort of there. And if I remember rightly, it's comparator, repeater, repeater there. And then we want dust there, 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 and there, and there. That looks right. Yeah, because then we want a dispenser. I've got three of those. I made the dispenser there um, we're gonna want a half slab which I've actually got in my inventory Wow I thought I'd forgotten that so stone slab right there that's what the chickens are gonna go on um, yep okay that looks fine actually I'm gonna get rid of that one because I think I'm gonna want this one to go straight down and then I'm gonna want another hopper here going into that. I think that's the way I'm going to want to do it. So if I grab my iron box, just replace the one I took out there. 
and then I want another orange block right there. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Um, that's going to be red blocks. Um, I won't have to be able to have a ration. Let's make this a red block because I'm going to have to have a lever on the front of it. Um, right, what's next? Okay, so here we want. So this is going to be the kill chamber. So we want a dispenser there and a dispenser there. One's going to have lava, one's going to have water. That's right. Um. I'm pretty sure the rest is just building the chambers to house things. So if we get our orange back, like that. Let's pop one on top of that for good measure, just so we can move around. Right, so I know we want glass. So I'm, I'm building this from memory. Um, I didn't look at a schematic or anything. I just checked the dimensions on my, on my testing world. Uh, so we're going to want, if I put a temporary block there, glass there, and there. Yeah, that looks right. Right, okay, yep, I know what I'm doing. I know, what's, I know what I'm doing. That's a temporary block there and there. So what we want now is we want a hopper going into this dispenser. And we want two hoppers coming off the back of that, like that. Okay, ideally I'd be putting carpet on there, but I haven't brought any wool with me, so what I now want to do is get my orange box and just build this up all the way around. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, I have just trapped myself, so let me get this out of here, and then this out of here, break that, and pop a hopper down. Is that now put a thing into there? Nope, okay. Okay, I think this is about right. I'm going to want a lock there. This is where my chickens are going to be. Um, if I build this up another one all the way around, just there for now, so I can fire the eggs into there, that's not a problem. I'm just wondering if this is right. It seems too simple. Um, so right, let's just let's look at this logically. Chickens drop eggs into there. They fall into the dispenser. Dispenser fires them out. Let's get rid of these temp box. Um, fires them out. They grow there. We hit a button to cook them or to drown them. I think that's right. I'm just going to get some red box in here just to see how it looks. Right, we now can't put a redstone block here because we're pretty sure it'll power that dispenser. So that'll probably be a redstone lamp. Okay, so that's fine. Put a red block there, there and there. Um, in fact, if I now close this up, That has to be a thing, and then like that. Sorry if I'm mumbling a bit. I'm just sort of stumbling over what I'm doing here. I can still reach a lever in there if I put one in. That's fine. I think that might be it, guys. Let's uh, close this up completely for a second. Yeah, right. So if we put lava in that one, we put water in that one. I need to go make some levers, so I'm going to go do that now. Um, so yeah, that took a lot longer than it should have because I didn't check my schematic, which was stupid. But I'm pretty sure that's going to work. It's going well, guys. You know, I'm not screwing up at all. I'm not forgetting anything much. Oh dear, I am a disaster when it comes to redstone. I really am. So let's have a look, see if we can get this working. <clears throat> first things first. We need to breed some chickens up in our chicken coop at the top so if we pop a block here and here and break these two I can't get in okay break these two as well 
slabs. Slabs are messing with me. Right, so we've got seven eggs. Hopefully two of those will breed, will turn into chickens. Not a single solitary bloody one. That's really annoying. Okay, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away for a second, uh, go get some more eggs, and then when I come back we'll have some chickens in our coop. Okay, here we go. Um, as you can hear, I've got some chickens in there now. Annoying little shits that they are. It took, them, it took me ages to get them in there. Um, I'll have to go up and breed them at some point. That'll be fun. Um, but they are in there. Um, once they're grown up, they'll start um, dropping eggs into the system. And what should then happen is that when I've got this switch up, the eggs will pass straight through the system and appear in the sorting system below. I'm going to set that up in a minute with some eggs once I've got that all sorted out. And then when I flick this switch down, what should happen? I'm looking around, there's no zombies here. Um, is that the uh, the eggs will flow into the dispenser, and then what will happen, of course, is that um, the dispenser will fire the eggs into here, and of course, that that means we'll get some chickens spawning in here. Now, when those chickens are grown up, we hit this button here, and we can drown them for some nice raw chicken, good for trades and what have you, or we can just zap them with this button here, and we'll get some nice cooked chicken and feathers will drop into the sorting system below. So, I think that's working pretty well. We're going to leave it on this for now because I want to try and get some more eggs, see if we can get some more chickens up there. So, what we'll do is we'll head downstairs now and we'll have a quick look around. As you can see, I've already put in the framework for the sorting system. You can see where the two sets of hoppers come down. So, what I'll probably have to do... In fact, this one should be facing straight downwards. Uh, so, let's build up to that and get that hopper in the right way around. Oh, I've come up in exactly the wrong place. That's just typical. Where's my pickaxe? There we go. So if we come down one, out one, do that, and that. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Okay, let's... I'm gonna have to break this block here, right? Okay, no big problem. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get our hopper ready and we'll just jump and. Oh, that's not working, right? Coming up with solutions to problems I've created myself. That's pretty much uh, my way. So let's get rid of all these iron blocks now. Go back down, we can close up any ridiculous holes we've made, those two there. And then what we can do is we can, we'll, we'll have another hopper coming off that one. If we put a, if we pop a block right here, we'll have a hopper coming off that one like that. And then, in fact, doing this the long way. Actually, no, no, I was right the first time. I need to do it that way. Okay, right, so... Um, hopper coming back this way. Then another hopper coming back this way. And then one more hopper. But this time going this way. And that should be the start of our line. So we need hoppers facing into the comparators. We need hoppers here facing out from the comparator, from this block. Which is, and if I just do that quickly, I'm sort of figuring stuff out here on the fly here. I'm, I've never had to build it around a sorting system around a farm before. So if we break that, I knew this would jut out a little bit. That's not a problem. So we've got a chest there. Okay. Oh, actually, no, that's perfect because this is where our path is going to be. This is all going to be wall. Um, and then, we, yeah, we can have three there. Um, I've got this in because I'm thinking about all the stuff I'm going to want to smelt. So things like stone, nether brick, gold, iron, stuff like that. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to smell anything that gives us XP, so things like redstone, diamonds, stuff like that. 
I'm not going to do that. The stuff that gives us lots of drops where we use a fortune, it's better to use a fortune pickaxe. So, if I just build up a little bit here, I'll have a comparator there. So, if I go up again, I'll just pop a block there for now and pop a hopper in like that. Okay. So, they'll go all the way along. And, okay, right. So this is where the fun begins. Okay, right, so we're gonna pop those two like that. And our hop on line here is gonna come right the way around along here. This is in line with it, so what we'll probably have to do is loop it back around at the end. So I'm gonna have to make a shitload more hoppers, but at least I know what I'm doing now. So if I pop a block here like that, and then pop a hopper, pop a hopper, like that. Um, that one I've gone into there, wouldn't have gone any further than that. Okay. Um, let's pop a block right here. Oh, there's a thunderstorm raging outside. It's good to know. Right, so yeah, I need a ton more hoppers. I can do that, but for now... Um, what I can do is now that those hoppers are in place, I can test to see if that item smelter is working. So we're going to head up. I'm going to grab a bunch of coal out of my sorting system. The reason you can hear that, by the way, even though we're so far down, is because I've got that hole there all the way up to the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... I'm going to take a stack of cobblestone, and we're going to take 32 coal blocks. We're going to head back upstairs. We'll sort. This is going to have to do until we can sort that lift out. Until we sort that lift out, there's going to be a lot of uh, jumping up and down behind the scenes. Check this for in a minute as well, I suppose. Right, so, right. Fuel chest is on the right. So, first thing we want to do is I'm going to drop those and I'm going to go. Right. And then we're going to go cobblestone, cobblestone. What should happen now, all things being equal, or have I got that wrong? No, this is definitely the fuel. Probably shouldn't have walled it in yet, to be honest. Let's dig our way through the wall. Let's check that this is all working the way it should be. Right, so that's definitely got those going into there. That's definitely got the fuel going into it. Let's just jump up quickly, troubleshoot this. Right, so... Oh, there's no goddamn comparator on here. That's really annoying. I'm going to have to go make a comparator. Okay, we've got a comparator in now. Uh, we might need to drop some more fuel and smeltables in there. So if we go fuel and smeltables, hopefully what that, that will then happen is, there we go, boom. And what it'll start doing is it'll keep distributing that evenly across the thing, well at least it should. Yeah, there they go. Look, every so often they shoot out and they come back. Okay, that's sweet. That works. And now what we can do is if we close this up now. Uh, some more iron blocks here. And um, where's my red clay? There we go. So what we'll do now quickly is we'll just drop down. I know we're running on on uh, hunger, but we can graphics that in a second. If we just dart down here, what should now be happening is it should be dropping the output stuff into here. I say should, but because it doesn't appear to be. Oh no, it's going through, I saw it. 
Okay, it's all collecting in this one. Not sure why it's not going as far as this one. But it's all getting to here. So that's working. Oh, sweet. Okay, right. So I'll need to finish building that next. For now, I just want to check to see if there's any eggs getting in up here. There are. That's working as well. Okay, next thing we want to do is I'm going to go grab some food. I've got some melon in my um, junk storage back here. Then when I come back, we'll switch it over to uh, chicken mode and we'll see if that works as well. Back in just a second. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, we've now flicked this lever down, which means as chickens, as eggs um, are laid, they should start spewing into here. The kill chamber, as I like to call it. That is a beauty. I'm so pleased with that. I'm so glad that's working. And you know what? It makes not quite a nice spectacle. I might have to turn my volumes down at some point because that will get annoying real quick. But... It is working, we've already checked it downstairs, the stone is coming out. We just need for some eggs to happen up here now. In fact, I'm, I'm going to cheat the process a little bit. In fact, no, not, not that way. I've got an entrance way around here. Covered all my bases. If we now put some eggs into there. Have I wired the hoppers wrong? I'm starting to wonder if I've hired, wired the hoppers wrong. I also find it incredibly disconcerting that I keep hearing mob sounds. I'm just going to drop this lever for a minute. If those eggs have come straight through to the bottom, I'm going to be so sad. They have. Oh, balls. Um, okay, right. I'm going to have to go do some troubleshooting, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, fixed it. Okay. Um, problem I was having was that I had a repeater where I needed a block. No big deal. All sorted now. And that is working. As you can see, we've got our little buddy in there. And he's going to get fried alive when he gets older. So, that is awesome. Right. Let's drop down. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in the uh, sorting system up here. So, obviously, the chicken stuff is going to go first. And then um, the uh, smelt into the stuff that I'm likely to smelt is going to go in next. Um, and I'll probably loop it back around to the start here. Um, just in case I smelt any food. So as you can see here, three cooked chickens. They're actually going to come in real handy in a minute. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this whole system in. And then when I come back, it'll all be done. And this side of our um, our, smelter, our smeltery slash kitchen will be finished. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, we should be good to go. So I'm just going to kill this chicken really quick. Right, drops don't appear. They didn't get fried by the thing. So let's uh, not use an axe to get down here. And... Uh, Let's see if it came down. That's eggs, that's why it's not working. So this one here is cooked chicken. I think that's worked. I haven't put hoppers in here. God, I'm stupid. Right. Um, also, I don't know if I've actually powered the whole thing completely, so... What I am going to do is just get these hoppers in. Uh, pop a couple there. Nope, I haven't put the redstone down here either. Right, so we'll just finish this up. Okay, that's all working now. So let's see, does one drop through? No, it doesn't. There's an enderman over there. You, sir, need to get out of my face. Because I will not have you ruining things down here for me. Get wrecked. And you dropped me an ender pearl as well. Good man. Okay, right. No chickens dropped through, but has some dropped into here? No. Have we still got four chicken up here? Yes, okay. So I think we're actually going to need to wait for that to fill up. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that running. We'll uh, try and get some chickens spawned up there. Uh, I've got another egg in my inventory. But you heard that click there and that, swoop, that swooping sound. 
that was the dispenser firing it off. Okay, so I'll just let call you into what we've got in here. I may rearrange the order of these at some point, but I've been putting them in as I think of them. You've got eggs, cooked chicken, raw chicken, uh, feathers, obviously, uh, the smooth stone, smooth stone, iron ingots, actually, have I got any more iron ingots with me? No, I haven't. Okay, uh, nether brick, important one. Uh, glass again, important one, and gold. So if we drop some gold in here, you can see it ticks through. And that's good, that's what we want. Because if you then come around to this one, or this one, where, which one was it? That's glass. There we go. I haven't put the hoppers into the lower chests yet, that's why that's not registering. I am not having a good time of it today. Um, I'll, I'll do that off camera. But basically, it is working. They tick through and they end up in these chests here. So, and just as a for instance, if they went through the smelter and for some reason didn't sort, I'll just dump them in here. They're going to go all the way around the system and they should wind up back here. There they go. That works. Lovely, lovely stuff. So the, the stuff from the chicken farm is going to come down here. It's going to go into the system there. It's going to fill around. Anything that shouldn't be there is just going to keep going around. That's fine by me. Um, there shouldn't be anything going in there that isn't compatible. I've got four chests over here left to fill, so any miscellaneous stuff may end up there for now. But I have still got to sort of figure out what these four are going to be. I've only got two for smooth stone, so I might even up that to three. I'm going to smelt a bunch of cobble as well. Uh, you never have too much smooth stone, so. Um, I'll decorate this off camera, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. We've built the smelter. We've built the uh, chicken farm. Both of them work. Oh, did you just hear a slime? I wonder if it's upstairs. Let's go have a look upstairs. But um, yeah, both of them work, which is fantastic. The sorting system works, and I think, oh, hello Mr. Slime, you're going to get deaded. I'm going to drop me some slime blocks, I haven't got a looting sword, but, hey, hello, four slime balls, thank you very much. But, with the exception of maybe some decorating ideas, which I want you guys to help me out with, I think that we can call this one pretty much done. I need to put a, I need to put something here to break up all this red. I really do. Obviously, I've got the glass here for the farm. That some, hopefully some chickens will start spawning in there soon. I've got it in chicken mode. We've got the smelter. This looks great. I like this a lot. So, bingo on that. Yeah, that's a pretty good episode. So, from the red hot fires of my cooking room, this is Unkept Minecraft saying stay scruffy, and I'm signing off. I'll see you later.